Recently, I was browsing Amazon and I came across a 2.5 inch SSD from Leben, specifically the JS600 Pro Solid State Drive. By itself, there's nothing exciting about this drive when compared to today's much newer NVMe drives. However, two things struck me. The $59 purchase price for a 1TB drive and the claim that the drive included a DRAM cache. To a degree, inclusion of DRAM is what separates a premium drive from the number of much less expensive ones. So I chose to pick one up. Let's review it. But first, let's revisit some drives that I had previously reviewed, so we have something to compare it to. We'll first start with a favorite of mine from Team Group, the EX2. The manufacturer claims up to 550 megabytes read speeds, followed by write speeds up to 520 megabytes per second. Let's put the drive into action. Personally, I continue to like this drive, especially when the one terabyte drive can be found for less than $50. Critics rightfully have pointed out that the drive does not have a DRAM cache. So let's look at a drive that does, and that is the MX500 from Crucial. Here at Crucial states the drive can hit read speeds of 560 megabytes, followed by write speeds of 510. As we can see, the drive performs well, but to purchase the drive, consumers are going to be pushing a premium price of about $70. Personally, in day-to-day -day usage, I do not see much difference between the two drives. It's perhaps out of sight, out of mind. This is what makes the Levin drive interesting. It has a DRAM and its price right in the middle of the two previous drives. Let's run the tests on the JS600 Pro. This drive shares the same read and write claims to the MX500, 560 and 510 respectively. From the benchmark, we can see the drive indeed hits its mark for reading. Let's now look at the write speeds. Can this Pro drive become the best bargain in the 2.5 inch market? Interesting. Maybe it's a fluke. Let me rerun the test. This is amazing. I must be doing something wrong. I'll just copy over some files so we can see how well it does at sustaining its write speed. While this demonstration is limited and does not dive into random read and writes, there is no denying that the JS600 Pro is falling short of its advertised performance. Is this the right drive for you? It wasn't for me. I'll start to wrap up the video by highlighting that the drive claims a 500 TBW rating. This topic is going to be a mute point for most users and has a three-year warranty. If there is one thing I like about the drive, it's the build quality. It feels pretty solid in the hand compared to some of the other lighter plastic drives. Unfortunately, we can't overlook the drive's performance falling short. I'm always going to support the idea of making decisions based on value. So if you're in the market for a standard 2.5 inch drive, ask yourself, is DRAM truly worth the extra money when we know that the new NVMe drives are becoming more and more prominent with all their benefits? Are you still using a standard 2.5 inch SSD? If so, do you have a favorite? Share in the comments below. If you happen to have been shopping for a drive and this video was of help, please hit the like button and new subscribers are always appreciated. Thanks for watching.